you very much. And as Sri just mentioned, uh, Chinese consumer inflation fell to 2% in August, weaker than anticipated. Falling commodity prices and a relatively neutral monetary policy stance were blamed for the decline. Now, Eunice Yoon is uh, at the World Economic Forum in Tianjin in China for us. Eunice. Hey, Wilfred. Well, um, just talking more about those consumer price numbers, uh, what we're seeing is uh, quite a bit of slack in the housing market, and that's filtering in to consumer prices. Also, there was a lot of discussion about how excess capacity is still weighing on industry here, and that filtered through to producer prices. Now, all of that is just more evidence to the weakness in, in the Chinese economy, and one of the reasons why uh, we've been hearing a lot today about how Chinese uh, the Chinese slowdown really poses a risk to the global economy. Now, uh, we also heard from the Chinese premier, uh, Li Keqiang, who spent some time at the World Economic Forum here and to really try to reassure some of the business leaders at this very high profile event. Uh, he uh, was uh, talking about how the economy is doing just fine, that it's on track uh, to hit its uh, a target for the year of around 7.5%. And also, he was uh, talking a lot about about the reform effort that the country has been uh, pushing through those reforms and that it would be able to avoid a hard landing. Wilfred? Yeah, Eunice, I just wanted to touch on that quickly because uh, it, this weaker inflation print and therefore talk of more uh, monetary easing, talk that China might turn the tups on a camp, comes at rather a bad time uh, for the Premier Li Keqiang. As, as he said yesterday, that uh, the 7.5 percent would be hit uh, not because of strong economic stimulus or easing monetary policy, but because of these vigorously promoted reforms. So, I mean, this is the, the print today and what the markets are doing suggests that he, he wasn't really telling the truth there, that monetary stimulus is needed in China. You're exactly correct that there appears to be a disconnect. Uh, but but uh, I think that uh, just picking up on what Sri had, had discussed before, uh, we uh, do not expect to see a big bang when it comes to stimulus. Uh, but what uh, the market has been talking about uh, um, is that we could see some more measured, uh, targeted, uh, targeted uh, 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 plans in order to try to help prop up the economy. But there is a lot of concern that the leadership has been dragging its feet on reform. Forums. In fact, the EU Chamber of Commerce yesterday issued a report saying that uh, they thought that the reform effort was just too slow and that it was too cautious because it has been about a year since the leadership uh, did announce its uh, uh, major economic reform plans. And, and they said that a lot of these reforms just haven't been um, meaningful enough uh, to their taste. Brilliant. Eunice, thank you very much. As you say, there's still a very long way to go with China's reform plans. Now, Yannick Nord, portfolio manager at Sturgeon Capital, uh, is still with me. Yannick, in the face of a rising dollar environment, yes. do Chinese equities look unattractive? No, I think the Chinese equity are doing okay. I think within the Chinese equity, you have some pocket of value. Obviously, the economy will struggle to grow uh, to 7.5 percent, but it will grow probably between 7 and 7.5 percent. There will be some stimulus. It will not be the big uh, stimulus that is based on uh, uh, construction and infrastructure. It will be more based, you know, on services, quality of services. I would think. But all in all, there is some value in the uh, Japanese stock in the uh, Chinese stock market. Mm. And and w as well as that, we also had. Uh, German inflation number, yes. I think, bringing things back to, to, to Europe. And uh, that inflation print was weaker, was weak as expected. Yes. Do you think uh, Europe is moving into a Japan-like scenario? Well, I mean, inf inflation, CPI, the month and month CPI in August for Germany was at 0%, zero percent, 0.4% 0 in France, but it was negative the previous months. We had yesterday Portugal and Greece uh, with slightly better or in-line result, but it was negative result. All in all, we are not yet in a deflation in Europe, but we, I mean, we could very well be in a deflation if we have one negative news. There is the impact, obviously, of uh, sanction against Russia, f food inflation, uh, food deflation because of uh, the ban of uh, uh, food on food and, and uh, fruit and vegetable, for example. But all in all, there is no price. Uh, there is no, you know, there's a price war in every supermarket. We will see it in UK, for example. There is no sign of inflation, and there is no sign of wage inflation as well. Brilliant. And we'll talk more about that price war in supermarkets with Yannick shortly. Um, coming up on today's show, could McDonald's